right? So I know that we all encounter some challenges and everything in life. Uh, but today, the first log, as you can see, uh, I'm editing it right now. I'm post uh, filming. And the thing that I've noticed is that because of using this selfie stick and the thing that goes into your headphone jack breaks your audio because it, the selfie stick doesn't have a microphone. So everything that I recorded while I had the selfie stick plugged in doesn't have audio. So enjoy my commentary. <sighs> now let's get back to the video. So what happened? Well, my battery just gave up on me. Uh, winter came along, a bit of cold weather, and it was dead. So I decided not to buy a new battery at first because it was Sunday and nothing worked. And yeah, I wanted to <laughs> check and see what can I do to this battery. And it turned into a two day project, I guess. So first thing that you can check is check the acid levels. Acid levels are found beneath these caps and your battery might have more or few, fewer of them, but the acid levels uh, are accessible and just be careful not to spill the acid all around you. Uh, acid helps uh, with creating electrolytes, uh, which make the battery work. So yeah, you can check the acid levels and then top them up using distilled water. Uh, then you need to charge the battery and this battery has been charging for around 12 hours, a bit longer than that, and that should be enough for it. it these kind of batteries don't like to be overcharged or undercharged. Uh, I don't have a smart charger, so I had to eyeball it like a proper engineer. In the end, this might come as a surprise, but these batteries and their um, contact points especially need to be thoroughly cleaned because dirt on them and, and when they're in the car and it's dirty around those contacts, it can lead to your battery draining. And if you're driving a petrol car, you might have a smaller battery than a diesel car. So diesels probably might um, cope better with dirt than petrols do so yeah that's that's what i did and that's what i'm doing right now and let me show you how i cleaned it now as for the cleaning process it starts with the things that you have around the house you'll need your baking soda then you'll need some old toothbrush to do the scrubbing and a plastic and some canister to hold it i just got a plastic um call that plastic glass oh a plastic cup plastic cup sorry for that so you'll need baking soda an old toothbrush and a plastic cup uh, then to prepare it you just take the baking soda put some in um, into the cup get some warm water and then mix it up with your toothbrush and you're ready you're ready to scrub clean all the contact points on your battery well, there's only two, but we're going to clean them thoroughly. Another thing that I've noticed is that I've kept saying contact points. Uh, batteries, batteries have terminals or poles, uh, plus and a minus. So yeah, that's why there's only two of them and we're going to clean both of them. <laughs> so let's get on and do that. And let me show you how I did it. One thing that I forgot to mention before uh, is that your caps when charging the battery should be a bit loose. Uh, not fully open, just a bit loose. Why am I saying this? Because chemical reactions can occur while charging the battery, which would lead to pressure buildup. And if pressure builds up and it can't escape, an explosion happens. Now, you, since you don't want to do that and you don't want to damage your battery, you just loosen all the caps and now we're going to screw them back on using a coin. I go through all the caps, make sure they're nice and tight, and, and once I finish that, the battery is ready to be clean. Be generous when applying the baking soda and water, just so you uh, have a better end result once the scrubbing is done. After this, we're going to go to a pharmacy to get some medicine for our car and the battery. Also, why we need to visit a pharmacy as 
before we can make this batter. Let's go. It's the pharmacy. And we're not here because I'm crazy for spending this much time on a battery. We actually have a reason. Let's go. Got some goodies. We're gonna show you in a bit. Stay tuned. And now for the reveal what we bought. It's actually petroleum jelly or medicine vaseline. 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 Yeah. In my language, we got it was up. I bought this 50 gram pack because I don't need much for the battery. And hopefully I won't have to redo this. Uh, so yeah, we have um, a thing that we're gonna put on the terminals so that they make a better connection and ensure that electricity goes from the car into the battery and also from the battery into the car as well as it's capable of. Uh, so we're just making sure that the contacts are even better than before because all of these have small imperfections in them and also uh, the terminals that we connect them to um, or the wiring that we connect them to have small mistakes and small grooves on them and to fill in those grooves uh, we use this which conducts electricity and ensures that we get a better fit. So yeah. Let's go to the car, let's clean the wires on the car, put the battery in and see if 12 to 15 hours of charging of this battery helped it and if we can start the car since it was dead last time that I tried to use it, we could even unlock the car. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Before we begin, I just want to say that you need to have socket wrenches. If you don't have um, all of them, you can use a normal wrench, but it's easier with socket wrenches. And in my case, I'll be using a 10 and a 13. So yeah, that's what you need for the job. Other than that, you need the battery and you need the other things that we mentioned already, which is baking soda, a bit of water, and an old toothbrush so that you can clean the contacts. That's it, let's go. So on this one, you can see that there's corrosion on the side, and on this one, it seems pretty clean, but I think on the bottom side, or right here, it's starting to show some signs of something, I don't know, dirt or something. And also there's this part, which I totally forgot that I need to clean, but yeah, that, there's also that. So, let's get to cleaning. At this point, this turns into a movie. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna keep the aspect ratio. I just wanted to say, from this point on, there's no audio. So, what I did, I cleaned the bay where the battery sits, I used a bit of degreaser and a lot of paper towels. And before I got the battery in place, I also cleaned the contacts thoroughly uh, with the baking soda and also some degreaser in the end. Yeah, I, th I think that's that's all. Once I've completed that, I placed the battery where it should be, and I went inside to test the audio and to test if the, and I also tested if the car lo locks and unlocks. I didn't start the car yet, uh, and that's because I was hungry and I wanted to eat something first. But yeah, it kind of saved me all the hassle of starting the car without audio, since. I did the edit after I ate, and yeah, it's it's been a good day. So, how's your day going? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Anywho, uh, as you can see, I, I overcome, I've overcame, I, I don't know, I've dealt with all the problems that I had, and 
now we have this video. So I've got something to show for the day. Uh, and also, hopefully the car is gonna start. Uh, right now, as I finish this edit, I'm gonna go and film if the car starts or not, and then go ahead and drive a bit. So yeah, that's where I'll end this podcast uh, section of the video. And I'll let you do, I guess, enjoy the music and see if the car starts in the end. And now, a moment of truth. Okay, it unlocks. That's a good sign. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, there we go. And I want to show you how the battery looks in the end. Oof, that noise. Anywho. That's how the terminal looks. So the car settled, settled down, but I guess it was all of from it not working for a couple of days. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.